Hello and welcome to our one hour vinyasa. We will take a little time, move and breathe, stretch, find strength, maybe surrender a little more. Starting off by taking that breath. Breath that starts to practice, starts to get a little slower and a little deeper within. Maybe start to engage through that diaphragm area, using that abdomen space to breathe. Feeling a fuller inhale, softer exhale. Feeling that little bit of space that's created. And to take that little bit bigger of a breath in, that rib cage expands. Maybe you even notice you get a little taller. That exhale, things start to soften and melt. shift the weight between your hips like you're marching on the ground and finding that little pulse back and forth. Mm, maybe do little circles through the elbows. Beautiful. Let's take an inhale and sweep those arms up overhead. That nice good morning stretch. Really find that reach right through fingertips and rib cage all the way down to the toes. Take that exhale, let's hug the knees in towards the chest. Taking that gentle rock from side to side, feeling how that low back really presses in here. Nice little massage. 
Maybe you notice it over the shoulders. How's the shoulders doing? Adding in a little tuck of the chin, finding some length through that back line of the neck. We often overarch it here. Beautiful. And finding some more movement, starting to move through the knees. Maybe the knees start to come in opposite circles. Option to keep your hands on the knees hmm, to make it nice and gentle. Maybe your circles stay really small, getting more into those little connective tissues, those stabilizing muscles. Or maybe with each circle you take, they get a little bigger, finding that space through the hips, finding that openness into those bigger muscles, feeling what starts to engage as you draw those giant circles with the knees. Beautiful. Hmm, finding that little switch and going the opposite direction. Maybe you keep them nice and big, and then start to draw those circles a little bit smaller with each one that you take. Just noticing how we're still doing circles, but the opposite direction might have a totally different effect through the body. And getting a little bit smaller, and a little smaller so that it's almost stillness, but only you can feel those tiny little movements. Finding that true stillness. Let's extend the feet up towards the ceiling. Hands still hanging out on the back line of the legs. Relax the shoulders. Maybe you have a deep bend to the knees. Maybe you start to really lengthen and add a little flex into the feet. Maybe you also, if you want more, add that bend to the elbows, drawing the feet a little more overhead, really feeling that pull through the hamstrings and glutes, maybe into the low back. Beautiful. Take that exhale, take that release, bend the knees, plant the feet down in towards the ground, knees still point up. Take an inhale, lengthen through the spine, really feel all that space through the shoulder blades. And then take that exhale, send the hips up towards the ceiling. Maybe you start to feel that through the quads or those hip flexors, finding that space. As you press a little extra into the feet and into the shoulders, maybe you roll up a touch higher through the spine. Maybe you send those hips up a little higher. Interlacing the hands behind the back, actively draw them down towards the heels. Taking a breath here, feeling the strength. And take that exhale to roll down nice and slow. Beautiful. Coming all the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Take a little windshield wiper, dropping knees from side to side. Coming to that stillness, knees plant or feet plant, hips lift as you press into those shoulders, feet are nice and stable, making sure you have equal distance between heels and toes, to each of the feet pressing in, nice and balanced, beautiful. Let's start to press a little extra in towards that left foot, right foot starts to float up towards the ceiling. Maybe the hips lower here and press up, taking a few of those pulses, activating into that left standing leg, nice and strong. Mm, excellent. Keep feeling those lifts and lower, using those low back muscles. Keep drawing that belly button in towards the spine to stay nice and strong here. Maybe press down into the shoulders and the hands to engage through that upper body, using the torso, using the arms. Beautiful, let's take three more here. Finding those lifts, finding those lowers, nice and strong. Last one, lifting up nice and high. Really point through the toes. Bend that right foot, plant the foot down, send the hips up nice and high. Find that strong bridge pose. Maybe even bend through elbows and rest the hands underneath the hips. Finding that maximum height. Maybe it feels a little more restorative. Maybe you notice all of that openness. Connecting in with the breath. Take that inhale. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Take that exhale to engage. Become nice and strong. Keep those hips nice and high. Lower the hands down. Shift the weight to that right side. Left foot sweeps up. Excellent. Extending it nice and long. Maybe you dip those hips down and press them up nice and high. Feeling a little warmth starts to happen, maybe through the body. Keep engaging through those glutes as you squeeze and bring those toes up a little higher. Finding that length. 
Mm, feeling that right side be so nice and strong. Pressing into that right heel and into each one of the toes as you lift the hips. <sighs> Beautiful. Maybe take big pulses. Maybe you take little pulses. Whatever it is, let it be good for your body in this moment. Taking those three more. Finding that lift. Finding that lower. <sighs> Excellent, last one. Really point those toes up nice and high. Press those hips up. Bend through left foot, planting it down. Send those hips up nice and high. So good. And let's roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Coming down nice and slow. Big little windshield right for dropping knees from side to side. Finding your stillness. Excellent. Walk the heels nice and close together. Maybe feeling the edges of the feet touch. Let the knees fall open. A little recline, cobbler pose. Maybe you reach those arms out nice and wide. If you're coming into that twist position, just a nice big reach. You can bend through the elbows, coming into what's called boss arms, interlacing hands under head, letting the shoulders Flat on the ground, elbows fall open. Beautiful. Take that release, release those hands back out. Maybe they come alongside the body, and with helping hands, the knees float back up. Let's extend the left leg nice and long. Draw that right leg in towards the body. A nice big squeeze. Maybe you activate into those left toes and come up towards the ceiling like you're stomping in towards the ground. Maybe you hug that knee in a little more over the body than you're used to. Finding just that different angle. Maybe you find a little sweet spot or find a little tension. Let that right knee fall open out towards the side. Maybe that left hand releases and hangs out on top of the hip reaches out long. Beautiful. Bringing that knee back in over the body. Nice big squeeze. Excellent. Plant that right foot on top of the left leg. Maybe it hangs out just above the knee. Bring those hands alongside the body. Now let's start to float that left leg up. Feel the resistance that right leg brings. Lowering it back down. And coming in just a few little leg lifts here. Mm, feeling that intensity start to rise. If you want a little more here, you can interlace hands behind the head and float head and shoulders up. Maybe even add a little crunch in using that upper body, trying to bring left elbow to touch right knee as you lift that left leg. Beautiful. Finding that resistance. Maybe that right leg is really active and engaged so that that left leg easily floats up. Or maybe you try to relax through that right side, adding in the whole weight of the leg to that left side, forcing you to work a little harder. Keeping that belly button nice and engaged, using all those lower core abdominals. As you lift and lower through the leg, let's take those three more. Finding that strength, we're taking that ease. Last one. Excellent. Find that release. Hands and legs, maybe you bounce out through the knees, through the feet, giving them a little shake. Maybe windshield wiper or hug the knees in towards the chest. Finding the release that works best for you. Coming to that stillness. Let's hug the left leg and towards the body, wrapping hands around, extending that right leg nice and long. Nice big squeeze. Maybe bring that knee just a little more over the body than you're used to. Feeling those nice connections inward. And then let the knee start to fall open. And that right hand might release, coming on top of the hip bone. We're reaching out long. Mm, 
trying to soften, keeping the hips nice and balanced, not rolling too much over onto that left side. Try to stay rooted down. Knee starts to draw back up. Give it a nice big squeeze. Excellent. Then plant that left foot onto the right leg. Start to lift the leg up. Hmm. Finding that lift and lower. Maybe you notice that knee has to come out towards the side as you lift the leg up. Or maybe you stop it before that happens. Not lifting the leg as high. There's really not a wrong option. It's however you want to find that movement. Beautiful. Now that we've got a couple in, maybe you want some more intensity, mm, interlacing those hands behind the head. Beautiful. Maybe you bring the elbow across the body using those obliques, finding that strength. Feeling that full engagement, remembering to breathe, don't hold the breath here. Beautiful, I'll take three more. Last one. Finding that full release. Excellent, maybe windshield wiper, hug the knees in, extend the legs long, maybe take that good morning stretch again. So good. Finding some stillness. Let's all hug knees in towards the chest. Maybe you curl the head and the shoulders up, grounding into a tiny little ball. Take that slow release, vertebrae by vertebrae. Excellent. Let's roll up to a seated position. Maybe you take a couple of rock and rolls, giving that spine a nice massage. Sitting nice and tall, take an inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, relax your shoulders back and down. <sighs> Inhale, sweep those arms up. With each breath you take in, bring the hands up with the exhale. Draw the hands to heart. <sighs> Moving at your own pace. Maybe you really reach, adding a little back bend in, lifting to the heart center, adding a little bow in, almost like a seated cat cow breath. <sighs> Beautiful. Imagine as you're reaching up, you're reaching for that intention you set, and you're drawing it in towards your practice. One or two more, depending at the pace of your breath. Finding that inhale. And reaching up nice and slowly. Meeting all. Reaching up, maybe you interlace fingers coming to steeple. Feel how one hand supports the other. If you want less intensity, bend through the elbows. If you want a little more as you're reaching up, maybe try to bring the arms a little more line with the ears. And ease through that core. Tip over towards the left. Nice side bend here. Trying to lengthen here first instead of just crumpling into it. It's not really about trying to get the shoulders down, but as you lift, imagine pressing that right side out a little bit longer, a little bit higher. Floating back up to center, finding that nice reach, lengthening and taking over towards the right. And you're having that bend through the elbows. We're really finding that nice pull. Maybe use that right hand to pull the left just a little more. As you press that ribcage up, mm, float on back up, over towards the left, nice reach, and drop that bottom arm down, maybe it touches on towards the mat, or if you've always done your side bend this way, maybe you reach across for opposite knee, adding a bit of a twist and looking up towards the ceiling. I love to add in a little pulse to my side bends, just gets into some deeper muscles, if that's not your jam, that's okay. Taking one more breath here, drawing the ears away from the shoulders. And then release, sweep those arms back up, and over towards the right. Bottom arm touches down. We're reaching here. You can even add the pulse in here, it feels great. Or maybe you reach across for that left leg. The gaze goes up towards the ceiling, really feeling that openness that's created through that heart center as you roll that left shoulder open. One more breath, finding that length. Mm, sweeping it up nice and tall. Take an exhale, find a forward fold. 
and dropping head down. Maybe it's a simple bow at the neck. Maybe you really reach those hands a little bit farther. Fine, that release. Come on back up towards seated. Have to switch to the feet. Opposite foot in front or on top. Maybe use your healthy hand. Maybe try it without. Take an inhale. Bring palms to touch overhead. Take that exhale. Draw things down up towards the side. Inhale. Sweep it up. Exhale down. Inhale to rise. Exhale. Come halfway down. Find that openness. Maybe a palm pointing down. Or maybe find some openness giving yourself some nice thumbs up. Remembering the lips are awesome. Take an inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, engage to the core, draw those floating ribs in. Let's twist towards the left. Keep those arms as open and wide as possible. The whole journey through, just feel that squeeze. Move through those little internal organs. Nice little detoxing stretch here. And then drop those fingertips down. Press them in, get nice and tall. Maybe also add a little depth to the twist. Maybe gaze over that back shoulder. Feeling that range of motion through the spine. Maybe you draw that left shoulder a little farther back. Beautiful. Floating the hands back up here. Coming back through center and over towards the right. Nice squeeze through those internals. Open up the arms as wide as possible. Add a little more depth in. And drop those fingertips down. Inhale, get nice and tall. Exhale, add some more depth into the twist. Adjusting your hands to wherever you'd like them. Looking over that back shoulder. Maybe you roll that right shoulder a little farther back. Taking one more breath. Find an inhale and lengthen. On that exhale, let's float the hands up. And on, twist, coming back towards center. Rolling right over, find your down dog. Pedaling it out, finding a little movement here. Maybe press into each one of the toes, almost like you're curling the toes in towards the mat. Maybe you press into the fingertips as well, not just making your palms take the brunt of the force. Let's take two vinyasa here, coming to your plank position. And finding that lower down or chaturanga. Do a little back bend. And find your downward dog. Take a full breath of downward dog, not rushing through your vinyasa, taking your second, finding your plank, lowering down, maybe your back bend comes up a touch higher, tucking those toes, finding that downward dog, beautiful, lengthening nice and strong through those arms, maybe you add an extra little bend to the knees to bring the ears and arms aligned together, beautiful, lengthening through those legs, Keeping that nice alignment. Mm, sweep that left foot up. Find a three like a dog. Exhale. Knee to nose. Sweep back up. Knee towards the right foot. No, sorry, right wrist. Kick it up. Find length here. Knee towards left wrist. Kick that left leg up. Nice and strong. And step it all the way through. Mm, coming up, finding a high lunge. Maybe you interlace hands together. More challenge, keep them apart, and then squeezing onto a block. Roll left hip back, press that right hip forward. Imagine lifting through that back leg. Take an exhale, bow down, reach back behind you. Nice big reach. Maybe you imagine squeezing onto that block behind you, and sending the crown of the head nice and long. Pressing into that front leg, sweep it back up. Nice big reach. Finding openness, find your warrior two. Right hand reaches back, adjust the feet as you do. Take an inhale, lengthen through the legs, reach it up. Take an exhale, sink it down. Pressing nice and strong in towards the feet. Bring the hands back behind you, lengthen through the heart. Exhale, line shoulders forward, take your humble warrior. Maybe hands rest on the back, maybe they start to float up. Finding that intention. Maybe you bend a little deeper into left leg. Maybe you relax that head down. Humble warrior does not mean weak warrior. You can still find strength here through the legs, even through the torso. Using those legs, hold the body up. Nice big reach. 
Exhale, let's cartwheel that right hand, pressing it down onto the ground, hopping up onto back toes. The left hand can hang up on hip or reach up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Notice where are you holding your weight? Is it equal between foot, hand, and back foot? Maybe you shift it around, reaching that right hand up. Maybe it's just add a hover, pressing that right hand back down. Maybe you press a little extra into that left foot as you maybe try to float that right foot up. Might just be an inch or two. Bring that foot back down. Find your neutral, reach it up. I mean, we've done the other two. Maybe even try to bring that left foot up. Maybe you just come onto tippy toes, lifting through the heel. Or maybe you can float the foot up just for a second. Find your back down. Framing through that front foot. Take that left leg up. Find your feet like a dog. Beautiful. Let's flip things over, finding a wild thing. Lifting those hips up towards the seal. Nice reach to that left hand. Full inhale here. Full exhale. Finding that release, flip it back over, downward dog. Mm, to vinyasa. Or vinyasa in a child's pose. Or just a child's pose. Listening to what you need, mm, taking your breath. Beautiful. Taking a full inhale, full exhale. Beautiful. Right leg kicks up. Find a nice three like a dog. Even if that knee is bent, even if that foot doesn't kick up to the ceiling, that's okay. Find that reach through the hands, knee towards left wrist. Kick it up. Knee to nose. Kick it up. Knee towards the right wrist. Find the length as you kick it up and step it all the way through, finding that high lunge. Beautiful. Ooh, no balance on this side, okay. We got it. Finding ease, maybe bring hands together. Finding that extra, squeezing the invisible block. Rolling right hip back. Take the bow down, reach the hands back. Finding integrity here, pressing into the feet. Drawing the head nice and long. Maybe you add that little squeeze through the hands. Big inhale. Full exhale, sweep the body up. Finding your warrior two, drop the heel down, reach it out. Beautiful, inhale, lengthen, reach it up. Maybe you adjust through the hips, sink it back down. Nice and strong. And sweep behind you. Maybe you interlace opposite thumb on top, but it feel like that awkward hunching. Draw the hands down, align torso to the front, take your back. Humble warrior. Mm, starting to activate, really pressing into the feet here. Maybe the torso starts to come off of that leg. Maybe you drop that head down and float the hands up off the back. Beautiful. So strong. Take another full breath here. Pressing in. Let's float up. Finding that warrior two. Drawing that right knee back. Finding the openness, so good. Right hand sweeps up, cartwheeling over, planting down. Maybe right hand hangs little hip. Maybe it reaches up. Noticing where the weight's hanging out. Maybe we play around here, working on lifting that left hand. Beautiful, planting the hand back down. Maybe you start to lift that back foot. Beautiful. Feeling that shift, planting that foot back down, reaching the right hand up nice and high. Maybe you start to reach or lift with that right foot. Maybe the heel floats up, pressing into tippy toes. Take that exhale, frame to that front foot. And kick that right leg up, three-legged dog. Nice reach here. Let's put things over, wild thing. Pressing those hips up. Beautiful. Feel the strength through the shoulder. One more big breath. Exhale, release. 
flipping back, downward dog, beautiful, two vinyasa, as you want them, finding your lower, finding your back bend, making your way back through downward dog, beautiful. Exactly what you need. Excellent. Nice inhale, full exhale. Beautiful. Let's make our way to plank position. Nice and strong. Maybe you widen through the fingers. Pressing into fingertips. Maybe you lower those hips down a little more. Feeling that strength. Lower all the way down, maybe through chaturanga. Coming down. Finding the hands under the shoulders, tuck those elbows in. Just a little baby cobra, nice and easy. Pressing the pelvis in with intention. Drawing the crown of the head nice and long. <sighs> Exhale, find the strength. Maybe those hands start to float up off the ground. Maybe you find a little more height using the back muscles, pressing into the pelvis. <sighs> so good. Hands press back down. Maybe you lift through the foot. One foot comes up. Lowers back down. Other foot lifts. Comes back down. Maybe both feet start to lift up off the ground. Maybe you use those hands to help stabilize. Maybe you start to float the hands up as well. Finding that strength. Beautiful. Lowering, lowering down all the way. Maybe you bring your favorite cheek down. Maybe you reach those arms alongside the body. Maybe they reach out long like a T. What well, feels best on the shoulders? Big inhale, full exhale. Maybe bend through the knees, take a little windshield wiper. So good, finding your stillness. Bring those legs back down. Tuck the hands under the shoulders. And toes start to tuck as well. I'm pressing up, maybe reverse chaturanga. Oh, so hard. Coming all the way up. Still gonna try it back into your plank position. Beautiful. Coming into downward dog. Lengthen. Beautiful. Let's find our dolphin pose. Bring forearms down onto the ground. Maybe you interlace up the fingers. Pressing in, rooting those elbows down. Maybe you notice the top of the head touches down. Let's walk those feet up just a little bit more. Almost like you would for handstand prep, for headstand prep. Nice and strong, engage that core. Beautiful, maybe you kick one foot up. Lowering it back down. The other foot lifts up, find the lower. Maybe if it's in your practice, you go for your headstand. Finding that strength through the shoulders, listening to the body. Headstand is not in your practice. Maybe just walk the feet in a little bit closer towards the body, trying to get the hips to stack over shoulders, over hands. Nice and controlled. Remember, half the energy takes to come down with control. Beautiful. Finding that release when you need it. Lowering the feet back down. Nice, strong, beautiful. Option for child's pose, or if you want more, you can take those two vinyasa. It's roughly seven reps worth of time. Ooh, taking what you need, as you need it. Beautiful. Connecting in with the body. Taking a few more rounds of breath. Remembering that intention, following through to practice. Excellent. Taking that full inhale, full exhale. So then you can press back, and finding your way into downward dog. 
beautiful, looking towards the front of the mat. Maybe you float the feet up, or maybe you take a jump. Finding your forward fold. Letting the head hang heavy. Still letting this be restorative. Maybe you pedal out through the knees, alternating the bend to either side. Take an inhale, find a halfway lift. Bring the hands just above the knees, roll the shoulders back and down. Extend the crown of the head nice and long. Feel how good that feels. Bend the knees and hips. Sweep the arms up. Find your turn pose. Take an inhale, lengthen. Maybe you engage through the core. Exhale, sink. Beautiful. Maybe you're hanging out at the bar stool, nice and high. Maybe you sink down towards the kitchen table. Bring those hips aligned with the knees. Lifting those arms up nice and tall, turning the shoulders right over the hips. Maybe you sink even more, coming down to a milking stool. Nice and strong through the legs, though. Press all the way up to standing. Reach it up. Maybe take a back bend. Pressing those hips forward. Coming back towards the neutral. Reach it up. Hands to heart. Beautiful. Starting to prep the feet, the feet from the balance pose, squeezing into toes, rocking into heels. Standing nice and strong. Find a strong mountain pose. Working through every muscle. Engaging through the feet. Engaging the arches, trying to lift them up. Lifting all the way through inner thighs. Pressing the outer edges of the legs down. Little tuck of the pelvis. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, relax those shoulders. Beautiful. And starting to shift weight towards that left side. Right toes start to come up. Maybe hang out on tiptoes. Finding the nutrition point. Maybe knees come up a little higher. Beautiful. Maybe that knee really squeezes up even more. I'm using the core, pressing into that left standing leg. Left hand reaches to the outside of the leg. Maybe your right hand comes to hip. Maybe your right hand reaches out. The extra challenge of this is I made you change where you're looking. Maybe change it again, looking a little farther back or looking higher up. I want extra challenge, close the eyes. I want extra strength challenge, extend that right leg. Maybe you reach for the toes, or maybe you release the hand completely. Working on that full strength of extending the leg and reaching back. Beautiful. Let's release the twist, coming back towards center, adding a bend to the knee. Mm, instead of bringing it down, let's keep working for that left side. Feel the burn as you kick it back, find your warrior three. Three, check it out. Rolling that right hip down if you want a little more. Maybe hands reach forward for more core. Take that exhale, bring the hands down, find your unicorn. How's that foot doing? Beautiful. Bring that right foot in, find a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bending through the knees, sweep all the way up. Grabbing all that fresh energy, bring it in, hands to heart. Finding that restorative. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Option, find a little crow pose. Bowing it down. Maybe lift the toes up. Extra challenge. We want the max kick back, find your plank. Otherwise, release your crow, step it back. Make it into plank two vinyasa. Beautiful. Savoring the downward dog, taking a full breath. Leaning back, a nice downward dog, pressing through the hands, lengthening, lift the hips. Looking towards the front of the mat, maybe you hop or float, or take a big step into forward fold. Inhale, halfway left, find length through the spine, pressing hands above knees, drawing the head forward, rolling shoulders back and down. Bend knees, sink hips, sweep hands up, chair pose. Inhale, lengthen. Engage with the core. Hanging out at bar stool. Come down to the dinner table. 
Maybe sinking a little more. Try and bring those shoulders over the hips, pressing into the heels. Press all the way up, standing, reaching up. Optional back bend. Coming back to standing, hands to heart. Releasing the hands, find a strong mountain pose. Waking up through the feet. Activating into those inner thighs. Engaging through Mula Bandha, Uliyana Bandha. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, engage. Shift the weight to that right foot. And the left foot starts to rise. Finding that point of focus. And you squeeze that knee a little more. Pressing strong into that right leg. Right hand reaches to the outside of the left knee. Left hand can come towards hip as you rotate. Maybe reach that left hand out. If you imagine holding on to a bar, that actually helps the balance. Beautiful. Maybe you change where the gaze is. Maybe you start to extend through that left leg, taking the foot out. You want the extra strength to release the hand, keeping the leg in place. So good. Taking one more breath here. I'm twisting. Bring that knee back in. Sending it back. Finding your warrior three. Flying those arms out. Maybe they reach along like an airplane. Maybe they come back behind you. Imagine you squeezing that block. Maybe they reach forward for that extra bit of core. Nice and strong through that right foot. Take that exhale, bow it down, plant hands, left foot kicks up, finding that unicorn. Beautiful. Second with the breath. Maybe find a little more height on that exhale. And then plant the foot down, find your forward fold. Maybe pedal out through the feet. Inhale, a little halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, maybe find your crow. Bending through the elbows. Either stacking knees over elbows. Maybe you go for crane. Maybe you want something a little more challenging and you lengthen through the arms. Beautiful. Maybe you kick it back, find your plank. Maybe you land your crow and step back, finding plank. Two vinyasa or child's pose. Roughly seven to ten breaths worth of time. Either finding movement or finding the pause. Even the breath takes two pauses after each inhale, after each exhale. So don't feel bad. And if the whole body needs one as well. Straight line from ankle to knee across the shin. 
And then bringing the other foot, aligning ankle on knee. Here's where it gets tricky. Totally normal to look up high like this. Women, we have a natural advantage. Maybe if we find a little bit more ease, maybe the knee starts to flow down. Maybe this is just torture the whole way through. If that's the case, you can release it back. You can even extend the bottom leg, relaxing down here, working through that hip. There's so many different variations and then ways to make this work a little better for each body. If you can get into full fire log and you find there's ease there, maybe you also add in a forward fold. Your choice. This is also known as double pigeon. So just imagine that intensity level, listening to the body, taking a full breath here, trying to find a little sensation of peace and calmness despite the struggle. Beautiful. On that exhale, it's fine. You release whatever that might mean. Extend both legs nice and long. Maybe you plant the hands right alongside the hips. Maybe you windshield wiper through the feet through the knees. Mm, taking a little moment here, we don't often do things like reverse tabletop, so like, why not try it? Plant the hands in, roll the shoulders back and down. Mm, lifting through the heart. Maybe you float, start to float those sit bones up. Maybe bend through the knees. Coming into your reverse tabletop, you want extra challenge? Extend the legs, reverse plank. Lifting through those hips. Maybe gaze goes up towards the ceiling as you lift through the heart. Take that exhale. Maybe start to drag the feet back and plant. Bring the seat back down. Beautiful. Let's come into the other side of your fire log. Hopefully you still remember which side it was. Oh, there it feels easy and natural. You've already done that side. Trying to make that line from the hip to the knee and across the front of the body and cross this way. Maybe those hands plant back and hang out here. You can even align the knee a little better. If you have shin over shin connection, you can take that forward fold. I'm using the breath to help soften. Taking that exhale. Releasing that tension through the hip. One more breath. Finding that full inhale. Taking that exhale nice and slowly. And starting to press into those hands. Come on back up. Take that release, flat the hands, extend the legs, find your release, maybe it's a little shake, maybe it's a little windshield wiper. Beautiful, let's take that reverse tabletop, plant the hands in, roll those shoulders back now and lift through the heart. Pressing into the feet, maybe bend the knees to lift the hips. If this feels really solid here, maybe you extend the legs, finding reverse plank, lifting through those hips. Gaze can go up towards the ceiling. Full inhale, feel the shoulders, different angles on those muscles. Take that exhale, maybe work on sliding the feet, maybe back planting hips down. Great work. Taking an inhale, let's lengthen. We're gonna come into a forward fold, and whether you want to keep feet together, find some more openness, or do one side, it doesn't actually matter. It's just, I feel good on the hips and the back, that's what I'm going for. But I used to hate stack forward fold. So I prefer to bring just a little bit of width towards the feet. Take an inhale and lengthen. Take an exhale, leading from the heart to lead the heart forward. Add a little bow in. Maybe you just come down a little bit. Maybe you just clap hands under the legs and the thighs or the calves. Lengthening through the spine. Taking a few rounds of breath here. Maybe you slowly add on a little bit of depth. Starting really gentle. Finding some more. If the body can't resist rounding through the spine and dropping the head down, go ahead and do so. It does feel great along the vertebrae. Or maybe you want that extra challenge of lengthening through the spine. What was your intention? And how, which variation most honors that intention? And 
taking two or three more breaths here, depending on the rate of breathing. Maybe you feel the heartbeat start to soften. Maybe you feel that control of the breath coming down. After that next complete exhale, getting all of that breath out, start to walk the hands back up, coming back into a neutral seated position. And maybe you hug the knees in towards the chest here and roll on back and down, giving that spine a nice little massage. Hug the knees in towards the chest. Maybe take that little rock from side to side. Finding your stillness. Let's reach those arms out long, left and right, making that big T. We're gonna come into a twist, so if you have a favorite twist you wanna get into, have that. Or otherwise, I love to bring knees and ankles together and drop the legs down towards one side, rolling onto that hip. I love this one because there's so many variations and depths you can add into it. Maybe the gaze goes opposite of the legs. Maybe whatever hand is closest to the knees comes on top of the legs. Adding to the weight of the hand in. You can also work on extending the legs nice and long, making that little L shape. If all of this is feeling good and you still want more variations, if that hand is on top of the legs, maybe it starts to slide down and reach down towards that big toe coming into a toe line. That adds a lot of intensity on those internal organs and down that outer side of the legs. Just being mindful of it. Releasing when you need to. Finding that inhale. Maybe you add a little length to the spine. Finding that exhale. Maybe you add a little softness towards the hips. If you have the toe line, find that little release. Maybe you bend through the knees. Pressing the hands down into the ground to help support as you swing the knees up through center nice and slowly and over towards the opposite side. Knees drop down. Opposite shoulder is rooted. Arms reach out. Maybe whatever hand is closest to the leg just floats on top. Adding in just that touch of depth. Maybe gaze goes in that opposite direction. Maybe you start to reach that hand down for the toes. Maybe lengthen through the legs. Whatever variation, mirroring what you did on the other side. towards the chest, maybe round into that tiny little ball, relaxing vertebrae by vertebrae, back down, reaching the hands through the knees, finding your happy beat, reaching on to feet however you like to hold them, but you go up towards the ceiling, knees really trot in towards the body. Maybe you add a little resistance here, actively pulling into the feet and kicking into the hands. Extend the crown of the head nice and tall for that resetting of the spine. Feel all of that length through the spine. Feel that openness through the hips as you really draw those knees in towards the body. And take that relax. Finding a little freestyle. Maybe bring soles of the feet to touch. Maybe press those knees towards the windows. Finding a little cobbler, happy baby. And then finding any other pose that suits you this evening. Listening to that body. What other movements, what other asana do you need before you settle into your shavasana? 
Mm, ultimately, it's your practice. So taking what you need. Playfulness. Or maybe what you need is extra moments in Shavasana. I think it's hard to admit that you don't take as much stillness or pause throughout our days as our body would actually love to have. So feel free to settle into that Shavasana as well. If you're doing something on one side, balance it out, finding it on the other. Start to find that pose that you can rest in. That you find some comfort in. That you can connect in with the breath. Maybe you start to scan through the body. Noticing what there is to notice. Maybe you start to become aware of those little differences from the beginning of practice. Maybe you notice something a little deeper. Is there a mindset shift? How do you feel after the movement? Our yoga isn't just about each of the poses. That's just one out of eight of those limbs that are attributed to a yoga practice. And our poses or our movement is known as the asana. But things like niyamas, withholding, meditation, concentration, or stillness are all parts of our breath work, our pranayama. So maybe you choose to work on one of those in this time. Finding that breath. Finding that stillness. Finding that state of peace. Solitude. Now I'll call you back when it's time.
class in the next. 